In the beginning was the code of conduct, and the code of conduct was with coach, and the code of conduct was coach. It was with coach in the beginning. At one point in time, an idea came to coach to create Rec Room. He planned for Rec Room to be the best place to hang out with friends, play games together, and explore hundreds of thousands of player-created rooms. He also planned to complete the entire project within six days. On day one, Coach created the Rec Center, a large room of major importance. The Rec Center would be the hub of all of Rec Room and the most popular social room ever. Upon completion of the Rec Center, the day was complete. On day two, Coach created Paddleball, the first activity for Rec Room. Paddleball would be a game in which one player on each team would assemble inside of a zero-gravity, cylinder-shaped vacuum, each with their own paddle and on their own side. A ball would be thrown and each player would attempt to make the ball reach the other side of the cylinder chamber. If the ball managed to reach either side of the cylinder, the opposing player would receive a point. First to five points would win. With Paddleball, Coach also created three more activities. They were Dodgeball, 3D Charades, soccer, and disc golf. Thus, this concluded the second day. On day three, Coach created players to use that current version of Rec Room as it developed. Rec Room had now been officially released to the public, and with this, Coach gave the players the Code of Conduct. This was a list of ten commandments that all Rec Room players had to follow. Coach was proud of what he'd done, but he knew it could be improved. On day four, Coach created the theater department. They were given the task to create a new genre of rooms. They chose to make quests, co-op adventures in which players would engage in battle and work their way towards a final boss. Upon defeating the boss, they would receive a clothing item related to the theme of the quest. The names of all five made were the quest for the golden trophy, a medieval quest, the Rise of Jumbotron, a futuristic laser quest, the Curse of the Crimson Cauldron, a magical wizard quest, the Isle of Lost Skulls, a pirate quest, and the Crescendo of the Blood Moon, a vampire quest. Because the theater department had done all of Coach's work that day, he used his free time to give players the ability to create their own rooms. On day 5, Coach created the most popular activity to date, paintball. Players flocked to paintball as starving pigeons do to bread. Paintball easily became the most popular activity because it was the first official player versus player or PvP room. Seeing the success of this genre, Coach created another similar activity, Laser Tag, a PvP based off of the quest The Rise of Jumbotron. These, however, were just warm-ups for what would soon be the main attraction of Rec Room. It was now the sixth and last day for Coach to work on Rec Room. He created another PvP activity and named it Rec Royale. It was a battle royale game mode in which players would land on Frontier Island and battle it out until there was only one player left. There was also a constantly growing swarm of bees on the coast of the island that was slowly working inland to the center of the island. While in the swarm, players would take damage and risk getting eliminated. This would help to round up players and cause them to attack more. Upon release, this was the most popular rec room activity and it brought in hundreds of new players to enjoy the fun. The sixth day was now over, and Coach looked over what he had created in the past six days. He was happy with what he had made, and he was now very tired. He used his free time on the seventh day to take a long nap. Let's get